what makes uh, the event here uh, special too, it's a stage race. So the athletes race from day to day, but they have uh, the rest every day. They sleep in camps every night. So that makes a very fast race because people get to rest. If we compare it to the traditional expedition race where it's non-stop, here uh, as they rest, they go a lot faster. So they will do uh, maybe the equivalent in distance than a race that would be non-stop. Feeling pretty good today. Starting things off with a nice long bike ride. Gonna do some bike whacking so it could get a little technical in parts, a little bushy. Uh, after that, we're gonna be doing some trekking down in the creeks again. Get a little wet. They like to make us wet in these races. Oh, the sunshine's beautiful. After yesterday's rain and cold, I think it's gonna dry out all the teams today. It's gonna be positive. A2 commenced with another high-speed mass bike start before teams headed into the mountains for a technical bike leg which featured a strenuous bike whack section where racers had to carry their bikes through the forest and down a steep mountain slope. A quick trek to a river CP was the only break as teams pushed up through the mountains. Arriving at the transition area, racers refueled and headed out on a trail run trekking section, which would take them down to the river valley towards the canoe section. Oh, really great the water! <laughs> nice and cool! Oh, it's gonna be great for the next two hours on Keno! Paddling the Nouvelle River, teams canoed crystal clear waters as they made their way downstream. While not technical, a few rapids and swifts kept spirits high and teams needed to keep a close eye out for shallow sections. After hauling their canoes ashore, racers would transition to bikes and begin a bike and trek section through some wild and muddy terrain. We're gonna go do some coast steering, uh, which we're really looking forward to. There's also a zip line down along the coast too, so it's really, really scenic. And hopefully the tides cooperate with us this year too. Final run along the coast and an imposing climb up the cliffs brought the racers towards the finish line of day two. Oh, oh. Oh. It's tough, guys. It was fun. Coast Urian was fun and the bike was a grind. We had lots of bike issues, but uh, it's a fun day. Really good day. Yes, we want people to discover the area. There's beautiful villages in the area, but our main concern is always about the course. So first thing, we take, we take the maps and uh, we try to find the best spot. And uh, the field team did an excellent job this year. When I see all the racers coming in at the end of the day and they said that they found a super place, that's our reward. 